This video is the ultimate 5 minute guide to the North Coast 500 where I'll give you as much info as I possibly can to help inspire and plan your trip of a lifetime to this incredible destination. So if you're new here, my name's Robbie Rome's and I'm a professional travel guide writer and I also make travel videos here on YouTube. Before we get into the video, please hit the subscribe button below and turn on notifications to keep up to date with all of my future travel guides and videos. So what is the North Coast 500? It's a route in the Scottish Highlands of just over 500 miles which features picture perfect beaches, epic mountains, breathtaking landscapes, ancient castles and a whole lot more. It has become increasingly popular since it was branded the North Coast 500 by the Tourism Project Board in 2015. It's often quoted as one of the most beautiful road trips in the world and having done it myself multiple times I can definitely vouch for it. So traditionally the route starts and ends in Inverness although you can easily extend your trip to places such as Fort William and the Isle of Skye. How to get to Inverness So it's a long old drive from most of England and Wales, up the M6 motorway network and eventually past Glasgow until you reach the famous A9 which leads you all the way up to Inverness. Getting the train is also an option, you'll have to go via Glasgow or Edinburgh with the latter offering the most direct route. To save a bit of time you can also fly direct to Inverness from many UK airports including Gatwick, Luton, Birmingham, Belfast and Manchester. Now I've personally done this before and hired a car straight from the airport which was super easy and fairly priced. If you fly into the UK from an international destination, instead of heading to Glasgow or Edinburgh, it might be easier to land at an airport that has a direct flight straight to Inverness, unless of course you want to visit these cities before or after. How long does the North Coast 500 take? I would certainly allow a minimum of at least 5 days and that's a bare minimum. 7 full days would allow you to enjoy it at a more relaxed pace and 10 days would be incredible. But please remember this, the North Coast 500 isn't a race or something that you can just tick off a list, it's an adventure with so much to see and experience along the way. And don't forget, if you live in England or Wales, it'll probably take you a whole day to drive to Inverness and probably a whole day to drive back. When should I do the North Coast 500? There are pros and cons no matter when you visit. The winter period of November to March will be the quietest time on the route, there's definitely no midges, but snow and ice can be a problem, often closing roads and mountain passes. The spring and autumn seasons are arguably the best time to go, offering potentially okay weather, route will not be too busy, there probably won't be any midges, and there's going to be good availability at hotels and B&Bs. The summer season will offer the best weather, although it's Scotland we're talking about now, so there's definitely no guarantees there, but the route will be a lot more busy and you'll probably have to contend with midges at some point along the way. And before we get into the rest of the video, I'm just going to quickly tell you about my North Coast 500 guidebook, which is the main sponsor for this video. This is the ultimate North Coast 500 guidebook, containing incredible locations, practical tips and stress saving hacks. You'll get all the info you need, it's full with all the must see locations, it's currently ranked number one on Amazon. Buy it now for only $15.99 including free delivery from RobbieRones.com. It's also available on eBay, Etsy and Amazon. You'll love this book so buy it now. Getting around the North Coast 500. So most people will drive the route in a car, a camper van, motorhome or even ride in a motorbike or bicycle. This is entirely your choice. Don't forget you can easily hire a car from Inverness Airport or maybe even a camper van from somewhere like Glasgow or Edinburgh. Where should I stay? So there are plenty of great campsites along the route that welcome tents, camper vans and caravans. If you are going to camp along the route, please follow the Scottish Outdoor Access Code. There are also some fabulous hotels, B&Bs and glamping pods all over the North Coast 500. Yeah, just a quick warning, uh, always book your accommodation ahead. Uh, accommodation can often be booked months in advance, so make sure you get on that. North Coast 500 clockwise or anti-clockwise. So you can drive the route in two directions. Heading anti-clockwise is popular as you'll start on the east coast and finish on the west coast which arguably has the better scenery and it will be a great climax to your trip. Alternatively, if you go clockwise, you'll start with the most striking and breathtaking landscapes along the west and then work your way around to the east coast. So what is there to see on the North Coast 500? So I've recently made a top 10 must see locations video for the North Coast 500 which you can find on my channel. But here's a list of some must sees. So the Black Isle, Dornoch, Dunrobin Castle, Wally Go Steps, Wick, Castle Sinclair, John O'Groats, Dunnit Head, Furso, Straffy Bay, Smoo Cave, Sango Sands, Carlsgu Bridge, Ardvik Castle, Drumbeg Loop, Akmalvik Beach, Orlepool, Torridon, Applecross and the Black Bar Pass. Should I plan my trip before I go? Absolutely. In my opinion, planning is essential to make the most of your North Coast 500 trip. A large portion of the year you'll need to book accommodation and even restaurants before you go. 
Some hotels and campsites can be booked for months in advance. So my advice would be to use a guidebook, watch YouTube videos and make at least a rough itinerary which will allow you to enjoy your adventure without missing any of the awesome locations along the way. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, comment below, are you doing the North Coast 500 this year? And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. You can find me on Instagram at Robbie Rome's and I'll catch you guys in the next video.